Hello everybody! Welcome back to more Minecraft with Matterwellens. Today we are going to be playing Edgecraft, which is a port of Mirror's Edge into Minecraft. And as you can see here, my arm here looks a little bit different from usual. That's because I'm using the skin of the main character from Mirror's Edge, Faith. Which is actually really weird because I've been staring at my own generic Minecraft face for so long, it's really foreign to be looking at something completely different. But anyways, Mirror's Edge is basically a parkour game, and in Minecraft now, it's still gonna be parkour. And the main goal is just gonna be to get through the course, I guess. And our way is gonna be designated by these red markers here. This is a pipe that we can climb. And from what I saw in the beginning, we can either go down this pipe, or we can go down to the building. But I'm just gonna go down to the building. I think they both lead to the same place, so it doesn't really matter. And since it's not really story-based, we're just gonna chill, walk around, you know, look at the nice scenery and all that junk. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna happen today. Not much interesting around here. Okay, so there's a red door here, but let's just confirm that there's nothing down here. Yep, okay, so the whole time we're pretty much just going to be following the red. Mirror's Edge is actually one of my... Favorite. I would say it's one of my favorite games ever. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this earlier, but uh, let's go outside first. Yeah, you see these shading shading stuff? It's actually within the texture pack. It's not a shader, which is pretty cool. And non-CPU intensive as well. <laughs> but what was I talking about earlier? Yeah. Oh, Mirror's Edge is actually one of my favorite games. It's actually the first game that I played after I got my old computer, which could actually play games. Before that, I only played TF2, and that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I didn't finish it though. I got to like the very last level, and and then I just quit because I got stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh no! I was trying to go fast there. It didn't work that well. Thank God, Minecraft has a. Uh, Remappable button for sprint now, so I don't have to make mistakes because I didn't double tap uh, Double tap forward or whatever. I can just press up another button for sprint But yeah, I'm just gonna try to go fast because it looks cool when it's fast I also turned on view bobbing because I think it looks a little bit more realistic But I'm getting a little bit dizzy by it though, so I don't know. Maybe I'll turn that off later. Not sure But um, yeah I actually first played Mirror's Edge at a friend's house and, well, it was only for like 20 minutes or so, so we didn't get too far, but there was a horrible glitch where the people chasing us- Oh, by the way, in the actual story of Mirror's Edge, it's not just- it's blah, 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 blah. Can't even talk anymore. It's not just parkour, but there's actually gonna be baddies, aka cops and SWAT people chasing you. And, and the glitch that we encountered was that the people chasing us were like running at two frames per second. So like the face- what, there was a scene where their face was really close up. And I couldn't get it to go away, so that really freaked me out. But yeah, that's it for my little story with Mirror's Edge. And for those of you who haven't played this, get the the actual video game. This is pretty close to the actual game because I can actually remember this. I can remember this. This is a pretty close replica. Yeah. So yeah, there's not much of a story, so I'm just gonna pretty much have to talk about whatever the heck for the next however long this map is gonna be. <laughs> Yeah, I want to turn on view bobbing. It's a little bit dizzying. Okay. Oh my god. So I haven't played Minecraft for about two months now. No joke. And it's not just Minecraft this time. Usually I, I joke about how I always talk about how I haven't played Minecraft for a long time every time I come back because I always go away for some random reason. But I haven't played games in general for almost two months just because I've been really really busy at school and I haven't had the motivation to play any games. Yeah, it sounds kind of weird that why would I need motivation to play games but I felt like exploring my other interests. <laughs> that sounds really shady but oh my god! Okay, that was kind of scary. I remember this part in the real game too. They did a really good job replicating everything. But uh, yeah. So how, how has everyone been in these these past two months? Yeah, if you're new here, you should probably expect that I will randomly go away all the time because <laughs> that's pretty much what happens every few months or so just because of school and stuff. But actually, I'm nearing my last semester in school now, so I don't know, maybe things will change after that, not sure. 
But um, hmm. I remember when I first played Mirror's Edge, actually. Oh my god. Oh, yes, those are the baddies I was talking about before. <gasps> I actually had some trouble playing the game because, like I said, it's actually one of the, verse, the first PC games that I played seriously, and it was first person, right? And because it was first person and combined with parkour, it was actually really, really dizzying, and I couldn't. I was really bad at it. But of course, now I'm a lot better at it now because I've been playing so many FPSs and whatever. But yes, all right. Oh my god. <sighs> my first map after coming back for so long, after being away for so long, a parkour map. I hope I can do this without, you know, spending two hours on it or something. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think the thread included an estimate of how long this was supposed to take, so... This could range from anywhere from 30 minutes to the next five hours. So hang on, bear with me. <laughs> oh god. And if you're wondering why we're following the red stuff, it's actually not arbitrary. In the game, it's parkour based. But basically, the story is that I'm like a courier kind of person. I basically deliver packages to clients and stuff. And because I have done that for so long, I think they call them runners, runners in the game. And because I've done that for so long, I've developed some sort of sense for it. So when I look at objects, I can tell if they can be helpful for my parkouring or not. So that's what the red represents. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes, yeah, like, we have to go around the building and stuff. Oh my god, where are we going here now? I don't... Okay, seems like there's some sort of mind track thing here. Oops. Well, <laughs> turns out that's a bed. Yeah, what's been going on in the past two months for me? Month and a half? So basically, back in July, there was gonna be one weekend in July that I was gonna be free to record. So I was like, okay. I gotta record this weekend, otherwise I won't have anything up for like the next three weeks because I'm so busy at school. Then, that weekend, right before, like the, the Friday or something, I got really, really sick. Well, not really, really sick on the Friday, but my throat started hurting really badly. Then I was like, eh, so, and then I was planning on recording on Saturday. So on Saturday, I started recording, and my throat was just burning, and eventually, a few days later, well, actually, I tried recording on the Saturday, but I gave up after half an hour because my throat started hurting so badly. Where the heck do we go now? Uh, did we come from that way or... Uh, uh, let's, let's drop down. Oh, wait, this is the way we came from. <laughs> Gosh darn it. But back to my story. So, after my throat started burning, I stopped recording. And then, then within the next few days, I caught a very, very bad... Flu, which was actually quite shocking to me because I'm one of those people that never get sick. I'm pretty sure the last time I got sick seriously was like when I was in grade 8 or 9. And uh, yeah, I'm not in grade 8 or 9 or 10 or 11. So it's quite a while ago. And what made it worse was that it wasn't even an average cold. I got some sort of salivary gland inflammation. So basically, every time my mouth secreted saliva, which is like when I eat or when I talk a lot, it hurt like hell, so I couldn't do anything for the next bit. Wait, okay, so we go this way now. Uh... Oh, oh, there's a red here. Okay, there we go. But yeah, that didn't clear up for like a whole week, and I felt like poo-poo. <laughs> I felt really bad. But thank god it's gone now. But because of that little, little happening there, I didn't get to record that weekend, and the next three weeks were hell on earth for me at school. Oh my god, look at that, that's really scary looking down. I'm not, uh, what do you, what do you call that again? Not arachnophobic. What's the, the phobia for heights? I can't remember. It starts with A. Whatever. Um, yeah, because of that little hook, or not hookup, but little... What's the word I'm looking for? See, I haven't recorded for so long, my brain isn't even working properly now. I can't even get the words to come to my mouth. But that little little mess up. I didn't get to record, and that's why I've been gone for so long. I finished my exams in early August? Yes, early August. And I actually have been slacking off for like 
a week now. <laughs> but yeah, aside from the whole time thing, after my exams ended, I kind of lost motivation for everything. I didn't feel like playing games, didn't feel like recording. And it really sucked too because two days ago I was like, okay, I gotta record because I won't have any videos for like the next month or whatever. So I started record. I was gonna start recording and then my internet was down. And I was gonna load this map, right? So I tried loading it anyway because I don't need internet to play Minecraft single player. But because I was playing offline, my character skin didn't load. So I was looking, I was walking around like Steve. And I didn't really want to record like that, so I couldn't record that day either, but here I am! Yay! Yeah. This is this is turning out to be a little bit more of a channel update kind of playthrough today. <laughs> more than an actual playthrough. Yeah, I'm... I don't know. Would you guys prefer that I just talk about the parkour? It's not much interesting to talk about. I mean, I like the, the aesthetics of this map though, it's really cool. Well, I mean, the aesthetics of Mirror's Edge itself is pretty cool to begin with. Okay, and I got that button over there. How do I... I need to get back to the other side here to raise that. Okay. Okay, I don't think I can... Uh, I might have to wrap around the whole place again. Alright. But yeah. I think Mirror's Edge came out in 2008, if I remember correctly, and a sequel was announced last year or so, which was really hype because I think Mirror's Edge was one of those cult classic games. It didn't sell well, but a lot of people loved it, so I'm glad they're making a sequel for it. Oh my god. In the, in the actual Mirror's Edge game though, there's actually sections where we have to use a gun to shoot people. Hope, hopefully we won't have to do that here. We haven't actually seen anyone yet besides those three SWAT people that came out of the elevator. Which hopefully we won't see again. Oh my god, are those people down there? Oh my god, speak of the devil. But yeah. Really looking forward to the second game coming out. <sighs> what I was gonna talk about, that's not about the actual parkour. <laughs> oh my god, ah, I'm sucking at this as usual. Mirror's Edge is actually one of the first Let's Plays I watched on YouTube. Yeah, that's a little bit of a trivial info for you all. <laughs> that's actually why I started playing it to begin with, because I saw someone do a playthrough of it, and I was like, whoa, this game looks sick. But yeah. Okay, I don't know why I can't make this jump. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Look at this crane looking thing that we have going on here. Can I make it? Can I make it? All right. Oh my goodness. This game is just so pretty. Like the really simple color scheme. Simple, but uh, very, very contrasting, I guess. It's great. I kind of remember this part too. This is like almost a replica, like a, an exact replica of the game. Pretty crazy. Okay. It's gonna keep spiraling down. Spiral, spiral. Oh, oh. Yeah, we can just go down here. I wonder how long it took to make this map. This seems like it would have taken forever because it's not like a normal parkour course in Minecraft where the creator would just focus on creating the actual obstacle course because there's also all these dummy buildings around here. Okay, let's see. Uh, can, I, can I jump and get that? Yeah. Yeah, there's also a lot of dummy buildings around here that don't actually do anything except look cool, so... Must have taken quite a bit of effort to make. Now, how do I get onto that red block? Um, I can't get on here, can I? Nope. Hmm. Mm, nope. How do I get on? Yeah, that's not possible. Okay... All right, um... Oh, maybe we can go back to the beginning here? I don't know. Uh, can we jump on that? Okay, okay, no, 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 oh! Okay, no, no, no. We can do this. I'll stand on that. Yeah! Hey, I like that, that's pretty clever. I still can't get over how the shading is actually part of the texture pack. That's some serious perspective skills, man. Like, I'm really bad with perspective. 
well, I'm really bad with art in general, so it's hard for me to wrap my head around how this is working at all, but hey, I'm not gonna question it. Oh, I screwed this up, didn't I? I might have to go back to the beginning. Oh, there's a pipe here, okay. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah, I can go this way. Jump over here. Uh, get on top. Look at how smooth I'm doing this. It's like I'm a pro. <laughs> oh, is that a parking lot? That's pretty cool. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Alright. Just keep following the red, and we can't go wrong. Honestly though, although I really like Mirror's Edge as a game, I was very very afraid of it. <laughs> I'm really really scared. Oh my god! Uh, hello? Now they can't get me. Uh, oh my- oh no my god! Oh, they can't come out. Okay. But yeah, I'm really scared of timed things where people are chasing me. And all that junk, especially when I can't fight back. Like, I don't have a single weapon right now besides this stack of steak. Which obviously can't kill anybody. Oh. I wonder if I, I can kill them though, I'm not sure. Well, the point of this map is supposed to be the parkour, so I probably shouldn't try it anyway. Okay, where are we going now? Over here? Uh, there's nothing around here. What's going on? Oh, oh. There's a pipe. Uh, how do we get up? How do we get up? Uh, I don't think we can reach that. Oh, that looks like a long fall. Oh! Nope! 